Our study this afternoon is going to be based on Ephesians 5.19, which says, uh, for the fruits of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. So we are going to see the goodness of God, the goodness of God, and when say the goodness of God, it is that goodness of the love of God. That goodness of the love of God. Why? Because if you read 1 John 14, 17, 18 in a seminar of Nagan. 1st John 4 18. Read it. In a seminar. Katika pendo, Hamuna Hofu. Again, a pendo, little rock and miri. We two pinche hofu. Wamana hofu in a adab. Na mwenye hofu. Haku kamirishwa katika pendo. Mm hmm. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear has torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Yes. Repeat again. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear has torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Yes. So here we are going to see that the eternal will of God is all goodness. The eternal will of God is all goodness, nothing else. Because as you have, as you have heard from that verse, uh, where there is perfect love, there is no, no fear. Perfect love casteth out fear. We want to see this goodness of God. We want to see this love of God. Maybe by doing so, we can understand God. And this is the and this one eternal immutable God that from eternity to eternity he changes not. He can be neither more nor less, nor anything else, but an eternal will to all the goodness that is in himself and can come from him. God is love in all ways. And why God decided to create it is to manifest his goodness to us. God created in order to manifest his goodness unto us. So God was all yani was all, always was and always will be the immutable will to all goodness even if as we find in our day to day life there are many miseries which surrounds our life and we, we, had, we go through many of them but all this is as a result of ourself is a result of sins our sins has brought this misery but not God himself God is all goodness 
shida hivi ambayo tunapitia sio Mungu mwenyewe kwa hivyo lazima tuelewe these things uh, in their true perspective tujue we were created by God to receive all his goodness but due to our sinning we lost everything we lost everything because we turned unto ourselves to serve ourselves and since we turn to darkness that's why our life is full of misery but god himself is a god of all goodness this is the this is the ground and original of the spirit of love in the creature it is and must be a will to all goodness so the ground and original the original of the spirit of love in the creature it is and must be a will to all goodness kwa hivyo nikumaanisha god created us for all goodness to yani to yani to have it, to have everything and to have not the spirit of love till you have this will to all goodness at all times and on all occasion so these are the things that we need to understand uh, so that sometimes people go through many things sometimes they even fail to understand why do we have this misery why do we go all these things that we go through why did god allow these things to come all this evil to surround us and sometimes when we ask us ourselves such a questions that's the time we feel that there must be something wrong with god some even say god is a yani is a originator of sins not understanding that god is all goodness and there's no and there's no shadow of turning in god so for every spirit act the freedom and universality according to what it is what were our freedom when god created adam he was put at liberty to do what he want to do he was put at liberty for god to know or to accord to you the true obedience you are not supposed to be forced by god in order to obey him you are given what we call a liberty to choose to do what is right and that choosing that's where there was man's make a mistake or made a mistake that's where even the angels made mistake because the angels that's lucifer and his angels they made a choice of turning to themselves instead of turning to god god is all goodness if you turn to him he is all goodness but if you go against him he is a god of wrath and to you so whatever you choose you are at liberty adam was at liberty to choose though nowadays we say salvation is by grace that it is not what yeah it's not i to choose salvation or to do or to think that i can change anything yes it is true after the fall it is very hard for you to choose again but in creation adam was created at liberty 
Lucifer, Satan was had liberty to choose. But they opted to choose they had to choose not God but themselves. And that's where we say self came in. Self is the original of all sins. Self is the original of all sins. And since you have a liberty, why do people tend to turn to self instead of turning to God? It is because everything that is created, everything that, that is everything has a mother. And everything has a tendency to go to its mother. Everything has a tendency to go to its mother. Where did man come from? Man was created from the earth. So he had a tendency to go back to the earth. But I don't want to go to that direction. But all what I want you to see is that we must have a li man has a liberty to, cho to choose. He had a liberty to choose in which direction he is to go. So, when love is the spirit of your life, it will have the freedom and universality of a spirit. So when you choose God, when you choose God, you choose love. And that's why right now we want to see the goodness of God, love. The goodness of God, love. So when you choose love, you choose God. When you choose God, you choose love. Because God is all goodness because he's a God of love. God is all goodness because he's a God of love. Uh, the spirit of love is always in the same course. It, it knows no difference of time, place, or persons. I repeat, the spirit of love is always in the same course. It knows no difference of time, place, or person. But whether it gives or forgive, bears or forbears, it is equally doing its own delightful work, equally blessed from itself. That is the spirit of God. It, is no, it knows no difference of time, place, or person. That is why tunambiwa, mungu wanga ananyeshesha wale ambaye wame mkosea, Amo hajafanya nini? Haja mkosea. Wazuri na wabaya. Wazuri na wabaya. Uo ndi upendo wa mungu. So, the spirit of love, wherever it is, is its own blessing and happiness. Because it is the truth and reality of God in the soul. Nasikia? The spirit of love and when you see the spirit of love, this love of God here. So when you are born again, when you choose God, now we are saying now, when, when, when you choose Christ, because you can never have the spirit of God if you are not in Christ. When you are in Christ, that means you have chosen God of mercy. Automatically, you are going to have the spirit of love in you. You, are, you must have the spirit of love in you. And the spirit of love, wherever it is, is its own blessing, is its own blessing and happiness. Because it is the truth and reality of God in the soul. 
Pali upendo wa Mungu uko. Huo upendo wa Mungu pali uko. Ni kusema pali kama kuna upendo wa Mungu kwako ama ndani yako. That love itself is its own blessing in you. Tena mwangi. Why? Because hiyo upendo ambayo uko kwako in reality it is the truth and reality of God in the soul. Kama binadamu hagi aguka. Kama binadamu angesimama katika Mungu. Huu upendo wa Mungu ndio ungekuwa ndani yake. Ni kusema kwa hivyo kama kuna upendo huu ndani ya binadamu ama yako hiyo upendo is a blessing in itself. Ndio tunaita upendo wa nani? Wa Mungu. So what is God? What is God? Mungu ni nani? Ama yani yani kwa sababu sometimes kuna pahali watu wanafikaga hata Mungu hata wanasahau. Yani hata ukiuliza mtu Mungu ni nini? Ama Mungu ni nani? Sio tuseme Mungu ni nani? Ama Mungu ni nini? Huu yani huu upendo wa Mungu ukiwa ndani yako, ni nani yako ndani yako? Ni Mungu. Ni Mungu. Nao, huu upendo wa Mungu ukiwa ndani yako ni Mungu, ni Mungu. So kuna vile watu wako wanatafuta Mungu outside themselves. Yaani wanaenda mbali sana ati wanaenda kuabudu Mungu. Lakini huu Mungu anaenda kuabudu. Na that's why unaona even the heathens walienda even to the point ya seeking God, wanaenda kumtafuta hata hata wakaanza kuchonga miti wanasema ati ati huu ndio Mungu. And at the, at the same time God is very near them. Inasemekana kama If there, if there is anything near you is not your friend is not your mother is not your father is not your sister it is who god yeye ndiye yako karibu sana na wewe because wewe ukiwa umesimama hivi wakati utakuja ku yani ku study kwa undani tuone binadamu vile Mungu amemuumba utakuja kuona we are created in the image and similitude of who of god what does that mean why does why does god say that you are created you are created in the image and similitude of god and yet god is a spirit that, yani, and yet we say god is a spirit that means in the reality there is nothing in this world Where, they, where God is not hakuna kitu pali Mungu hayu hayuko maana everything comes from who from God nini ambaye haikutoka kwa Mungu iko hakuna so but everything everything comes from God but God is not in everything Yet he is in everything. everything. Everything is God and comes from God and is part of God. But God is yani is not in everything. That means when you say God, we mean now this this love of God, and the spirit of love where God is truly represented. Where God is truly represented. Because God is represented where truly there is that love of God. That means you have truly that image of God. But if what about if you don't have the image of God? This means then you have you have God. You have God because everything comes from God and was created by God. You have God and you are part of God, but now you you have what we have what we call a god of anger or a god of wrath 
Haya mambo mawili lazima iwe ndani yetu. These two. Either you have the God of love in you or the God of anger. But don't forget that God is one. Sasa hapo ndio tena kujaga kuwa na shida tena kwa understand. Yaani yaani kwani kuna Mungu wangapi? Mungu ni wangapi? Watu wanaweza kusema ukisema ati either you have a god of anger or god of love kwani kuna Mungu wangapi? Mungu ni mmo? God is one. God is only one. Kwa hivyo tujue hivyo kwanza. And when you say God is one, ni kama kusema ni kana kwamba yaani ndiuelewe what we mean here ni hivi. Wakati unakasirika nani anakasirika? Si wewe. Wakati unafurahi nani anakasirika nani anafurahi? Mimi. Mko wangapi? Eh? Si wewe si wewe tu. Then why why wewe wakati nimekasirika una wakati unakasirika na wakati unafurahi? You have two character but all these two character are in who in you. So the same case applies with God. Kwa hivyo tusisemeye ati hapa ati Mungu kwani Mungu ni wangapi? Ni wawili hapana. We have when you don't have that love of God, you have the anger of God in you. Kwa hivyo still God is in you but now he is the God of wrath in you. He is, he is either yani that God of anger of love. But when you have this anger in you it means now in you there is no peace there is always what we call strife in you because that means you have wrath it is wrath everything has yeah, there is no harmony there is no love in you that means it is when we say that in the first principle is anger second principle is mercy That's when Christ comes in, he changes everything and it becomes love. And God doesn't want to be called by this first principle. That's the way it is. So to continue. For the spirit of love, wherever it is, is is its own blessing and happiness because it is the truth and reality of God in the soul. And therefore is in the same joy of life and is the same good to itself everywhere and on every occasion it is the same life love in you and it's every yani and it's good to itself kuvuru kumaanisha ukiwa na upendo wa mungu everything that surrounds you even the goodness uko na kila kitu ya mungu everything you have is good kwa sababu mungu wako ndani yako why The blessing of all blessing is this god of of love dwelling in your soul. Nasikia? The blessing of all blessing it is this god of love dwelling in your soul and killing every root of bitterness which is the pain and torment of every other selfish love. Askia The blessing of all blessing is is this god of love dwelling in your soul. That is the blessing of all blessing. Kwa sababu gani? Because when this love dwells in you, it kills every root of bitterness which is the pain and torment of every other selfish love. Bitterness is this other selfish love we have what we call love of this world upendo ambaye ambaye by nature every person has love hiyo sio upendo wa mungu hii upendo wa dunia ambaye unatokana na our nature it is painful si upendo na ukitaka kujua si upendo Unaweza toa pesa pahali uone umetoa pesa mingi. Si ulikuwa nataka kufanya upe, upendo. Lakini ukuta ume regret. Paka zinakuuma. Why? 
kwa nini sakuma na ukitoa uki, uki ulikuwa unamaanisha ni nini eh unaweza kusema afanye tasike toa kama nikijua ni hivyo sikifanya nini lakini ukitoa ulikuwa na upendo mwingi sana this is, it means ule upendo hapa duniani it's not love it is a selfish love and this love has torment this love has a tom- has torment kwa nini watu wanapendana wanaita na sweetheart ati wamependana baka even to the point wameoana mbona tena nafika sasa tena unakuta the same person ambaye umeoana na yeye anakuwa so painful to you anakuwa your pain why what has went nini imeharibika upendo umeenda wapi tena so we must differentiate that that love of god the what we do to fault kwa maana ke many don't even know that love of god when we say god is love when we say that yani that we are born again a new love i'm going to give you ndio crazy a new love i'm going to give you because this love wakati iko ndani yetu it's all blessing it's all blessing ni upendo wa kweli it has in reality the truth of god hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza kuwa anapenda mtu alafu amfanyie unyama ni kweli hakuna mtu anaweza kuwa anapenda mtu alafu after some time tena amekuwa his enemy hapana so this selfish love ndio watu wako naye majority duniani wako naye lakini si upendo wa Mungu kwa hivyo lazima tuelewe upendo wa Mungu for all wants are satisfied all disorder of nature are removed no life is ne- is any longer a burden when you have the true life all wants are satisfied nikusema wewe kabisa kabisa ukiangalia by nature our soul is dusty there is something our soul is after kila mtu akana akona kiu na hii kiu every person when is born in this world waka na jaribu ku satisfy that thirst lakini hawezi that's why unaona every person anakuwa anaenda hapa anaenda hivi anatafuta hivi anaenda hivi Unakuta hapa hizo zote ni raha anatafuta. Aonekana kwamba atakuwa satisfied. Lakini zote hakuna hata moja wanga ina satisfy yeye. At the end of the day anakuwa empty. Amechoka. Amekuwa wearied na hakuna any satisfaction amepata in this world. Hakuna hakuna hotel. but the love of God it is in truth in reality that a man need that's what a man is after and that's what he need because that is the fountain of true satisfaction for all the want are satisfied all disorders of nature are removed in this love of god all disorders of nature are removed when we say disorders This world it is crooked. This world is you know it depends where you are born. There are a lot of things that are disordered by yeah, in this nature. But with the true love of God everything is made perfect. No life is any, any longer a burden. No life is any longer a burden with the love of God. Oh with the goodness of God no life no matter how mean you are kila kitu inakuwa sawa no burden unajua tukisema hivyo sometimes yani mambo mengine watu we see as if they are just words lakini reality wewe mwenyewe if you are going to look at them utakuja kuona in reality that is the word of god No life is any longer burden. Every day is a day of peace. 
everything you meet becomes a help to you. Because everything you see or do is all done in the sweet, gentle element of love. Kila kitu wabayo na kutera nae is a, yani, is a blessing to you. Ita kuwa blessing to you. Ati binadamu kama agejua upedu wa mungu ni nini? Binadamu kama agejua pahali mungu alikuwa amemumba ama pahali anatakiwa kuwa. Ama akizariwa tena katika Christ Jesus. Arudisho katika huo upendo wabaye anaabiwa atarudisho. Ujue kabisa kabisa. Wewe kabisa kabisa. You will be peaceful. The word of God inasema. God. In his perfect state. In eternity. Is. Nothing. Na e nothing sio kumaanisha ati sio kitu unajua the word nothing watu wanaweza kuchukua waseme he is nothing but it is used as a as a language to make us understand that he is so peaceful that he is like a nothing unajua pale hakuna hakuna mvutano wa kitu eh kila kitu it, it is at peace ni kama hakuna nini. Ni kama hakuna kitu. Sijui kama tumeelewana pale. Eh? So sasa hapa tunaambiwa wakati upendo wa Mungu umekuingia wewe you will be so peaceful no burden of this life utakuwa naye tena. Ni kwa sababu gani? Ni kwa sababu the burden of this life inakuja one thing uko na tamaa. Unaona watu wameendelea sana kukuliko unataka kuwa yani kuna pa, kuna a step unataka kuwa na haufiki any vina kusubua ina kusumbua unataka ukitokea kwa watu waonekane wewe ni mtu na tumeona saa hii tukao namna gani the most holy person ndio anakuwa kanini the most low lowly yule mtu ambaye anakaribia Mungu sana ndio anakuanga kabisa eh ndio the least kuliko wengine wote na ndio hata hataki yaonekane the more you know god the more you don't see yourself the more you don't see yourself the more you abhor yourself niko sababu gani everything that you do unaona kabisa hautoshi kwa hivyo vile unaenda kujua mungu ndio wewe that man that old man of this nature anaenda akikufa so you are telling This other man is tending to nothing. The more he is tending to nothing, the more you are growing under the kingdom of God. And when you, that means when you are growing to the kingdom of God, you are approaching unto that love of God where there is peace. Where everything you meet becomes a help to you. Where Because everything you, you see or do is all done in the sweet gentle element of God. Then you have that peaceful mind that you can never think of. So, as love has no by ends, wills nothing but its own increase. So everything is as oil to its flame Darudia As love has no by ends upendo wa Mungu hakuna kitu wanga unaona ati kibaya ama it has nothing hakuna it, 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 it wants to remains who yani love Hiyo ni kumaanisha nini Wanga tu it yani the love of God wants its own increase Upendo wa Mungu wanga tu nataka tu its own increase That means because love is like its own increase so everything is an oil to its flame. Nikusema kila kitu ambacho itakutana na wewe ama itakuja across you will be an oil to make it grow. Can you think about that? Mwangi. Wewe upendo wa Mungu kwa sababu ni upendo wa Mungu. Now that's why God in his nature 
through nature he must he, he is manifesting his love lakini dhambi kakuja kaharibu kwa hivyo the love of god is to increase nikusema kwa hivyo nikusema wakati that love is of god is in you everything surrounding you no matter what it is will act as a oil to make it it frame grow sasa hebu niambie ni kitu gani kwako itakuwa shida iko hakuna so it must have that which it wills and cannot be disappointed it must want that which it will. now here im um, overturn kwa sababu nao huko katika upendo wa Mungu ile kitu ya Mungu look at this way hata kana kwa kwamba dhambi iliingia at the end of the day kwa sababu Mungu ni upendo na upendo wa Mungu unafanya kazi everything ambaye tunaona ni dhambi it is acting to add that end of god's love kwa hivyo at the end of the day nini ta remain ni mu ni mu everything else will, will go lakini upendo wa Mungu utafanya nini utabaki hivyo hivyo tu ndio tunaambiwa hata wewe mwenyewe ukiwa binadamu hivyo hivyo ndio tuko nikusema mambo mengi upendo wa Mungu ukiwa ndio unakuongoza unabadilisha kila kitu inakuwa upendo inabadilisha kila kitu inakuwa kabisa it is contribute to you for goodness of god kwa sababu upendo wa Mungu ndio uko ndani yako so the spirit of love does not want to be rewarded honored or esteemed upendo wa Mungu haupendi kufanya nini to be rewarded That's why tumeona wale ambaye ni watu wa Mungu wale ambaye ni watoto wa Mungu those holy people of God they don't do anything in this world in order to be rewarded they are servant of who of the love of who of God kwa sababu wanasukuma na upe na upendo so who upendo they are not after any reward in this world they are, they are beyond this world ni kwa sababu wanashindwa ni nini utowapatia kama upendo wa Mungu tunamsukuma ni nini nyingine unaweza kumpatia hapa duniani na yeye he is after the love of god nini nyingine inaweza yani, yani kusikia amepata kitu Haku? hakuna hakuna so the spirit of love does not want to be rewarded honored or esteemed hata kujulikana hata watu waseme tunajua huyo no hakuna kitu kama hiyo. Huo ni upendo wa Mungu sasa ukiwa ndani ya mtu. It is only its only desire is to propagate itself and become the blessing and happiness of everything that wants it. To become you see if you come up with this these are very important things in a Christian life. It's only desire upendo wa Mungu kwa ndani ya mtu is to propagate itself and become the blessing and happiness of everything that want it. Mimi yani ukiwa na upendo wa Mungu hakuna kitu kingine yani unaweza taka but ni ku propagate huo upendo ndio huo huo upendo uwe a blessing kwa wale wote wanataka nini upendo huo wa Mungu hakuna kitu kingine huo ndio upendo wa Mungu it is only to propagate itself to be a happiness kwa wale watu wanataka upendo sisi kama tunaelewa na pale that's why watoto wa Mungu kabisa kabisa hawana haja yani wajulikane na mambo ya to be honored in this world hapana because the honoring of this world is pride wao wamepata wamepata upendo wa Mungu hawataki kuwa esteemed ati wajulikane ati wao oh, unamjua so and so ah, ah. that one is hawana haja na hiyo maana upendo wa Mungu 
ukiwa ndani ya mtu ni wa kutaka tu upendo ujulikane upendo wa Mungu peke yake hakuna kitu kingine na upendo wa Mungu it is with humility and meekness those are the ingredient ya hii upendo lakini ukiwa na mtu wako na, na, na pride covetousness envy hapo hakuna upendo wa Mungu tumesema that is what we call selfish love ni kwa sababu labda hata hata, hata hii upendo wa Mungu wewe unahubiria mtu upendo wa Mungu lakini wewe hiyo upendo wa Mungu unahubiri wewe you have a selfish love in you hiyo si upendo wa Mungu uwezi kuwa upendo wa Mungu it means it means therefore it means rather than evil and hatred and opposition with the same one will kama upendo wa Mungu uko ndani yako it means wrath and evil and hatred and opposition with the same one will as the light meets the darkness only to overcome it with all its blessings kwa hivyo upendo wa Mungu ukiwa ndani yako kama vile unaona mwangasa unakutana na 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 na, na, na giza na una destroy giza hivyo hivyo ndio upendo ukiwa ndani ya mtu uanga unakutana na giza ya hii dunia its main purpose it is to destroy the darkness that's the purpose ya upendo wa Mungu that's why wale watu wamezaliwa na Mungu wale watu ambao ni watoto wa Mungu utaona kwa sababu ya huu upendo they can go through persecution they can go through hatred wanaweza kupitia mambo magumu sana but they cannot they cannot hawawezi ku retreat hawezi because upendo wa Mungu is always to fight darkness they will always go forward kwa sababu hakuna kitu kingine it is against darkness it is yani it, it, it must defeat darkness kama vile mwangaza hakuna wakati mwangaza anaweza rudi nyuma atimeona giza ni kubwa hapana mwangaza wanga always destroys the darkness who did you ndio upendo wa Mungu ukiwa ndani ya ya, ya, ya mkristo ambaye amejua nini amejua kweli chasao if you have no will but to all goodness everything you meet be it what it will must be forced to be assistant to you tunasikia na hapo if you have no will but to all goodness kama wewe kabisa your will is to all goodness through, the, through the, that love of god that the love of god dio inakusunguka everything you meet be it what it will must be forced to be assistant to you kila kitu ambacho utakutana nae kama hata kana kwamba ni nini kama wewe kabisa your will it is to all goodness na nikufanya kazi ya Mungu with all love of God kila kitu ambacho utakutana naye Mungu atakibadilisha to be your assist, to be your assistant but not your enemy sio kama tunasikia haya mambo ya Mungu the wrath of an enemy the wrath of an enemy the treachery of a friend Trust the, the treachery of a friend and every other evil only helps the, the spirit of love to become triumphant to live in its own life and find all its own blessing in a higher degree the wrath of an enemy the treachery of a friend and every other evil only helps the spirit of love to be more triumph wakati wewe unaingia katika the ministry kama hii na unasukumwa na upendo wa Mungu marafiki wako wote hata kana kwamba they are against you all the enemies ambao wanakusarau ambao wanaongea mambo yako behind you they want to fight you by grace of god they will be turned for your blessing wote they will work to help you 
Na hiyo ndi ukweli. Kwa sababu wewe katika hao upendo wa Mungu you have erected a center of attraction where you are the goodness of God is your blessing. Kwa hivyo everything else work for you. Tunaelewana pale? Hata kana kwamba unajua sasa hapo watu watauliza itakuwaaje? Lakini sasa hata kana kwamba mtu atakuja akukate shingo wewe ni mwana wa Mungu ama akupeleke at the cross. What has he done? Hakuna kitu amefanya nini? Amefanya. So we must go higher. Waachana na mambo ya mwili atutasikia uchungu. Waachana na hiyo. Christ Jesus alifanya nini? He died at the cross. Lakini hakurudi nyuma because he knew the glory that was yani that was before him. So the son, the child of God, he knows that he mwili at the end of everything mutawachana na utawachana naye and in any case ndio imekuwa kizungumkuti hapa duniani imekufunga mambo mengi sana so yani ni kusema so the an, an enemy akifikiria anafanya whatever he is going to do he supposed that yani yeye huaga na promote that goodness of god satan when he was yani when, when he was uh, 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 persecuting christ yeye alifikiria anamaliza nani But what was he doing? He was promoting the kingdom of of God. Wakati hata anapeleka Satan pale in the wilderness kujaribu yeye. Yeye ndio tumeambiwa every misery is afraid to that to increase that love. Kila kitu is afraid ni, ni kama mafuta una yani naongezewa ndio fanya nini? Ndio huo upendo uongezeke. Manake wewe you, 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 you come from the father you have the love of the father and you are going to the father so you have that love in you yote inaenda pamoja so whether therefore you consider perfection or happiness it is all included in the spirit of love and must be so for this reason because the, in, the infinitely perfect and happy god is mere love an unchangeable will to all goodness and therefore every creature must be corrupt and un- unhappy for yeah, so far as it is led by another will than the one will to all goodness so sawa so lazima tujue that every creature must be corrupt and unhappy so far as it is led by another will than the one to all goodness so if you are we are led by uh, 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 we are we are led to god love or to all goodness because god is all goodness when we say god is all goodness we mean in god you can lack nothing kwa hivyo kumaanisha hii shida ambayo tuko nayo hapa duniani ambayo tunazipata tunazipata ni kwa ajili yetu kwa sababu we don't have god we don't have god okay let us understand this that no creature can be a child of god but because the goodness of god is in it tuelewe hivyo No creature can be a child of God but because the goodness of God is in it. So for any creature for any person to be called a child of God this goodness of God must be in that creature. That's why you yani hapo nasema wewe ni mtoto wa nani? Kwa hivyo nikumaanisha the goodness of God is in that in you. Sasa so, so, nor can it have any union or communion with the goodness of the deity till its life is a spirit of love kwa hivyo uweze kuwa na any communion with god mpaka your spirit ama yani uh, your life is a spirit of love kwa hivyo mwana wa mungu lazima awe na that spirit of love ndio awe mwana wa mungu that spirit of love 
This is the only bond of union between God and the creature. That love. And that's why in Mesema, all other creatures that you see in this world, they all come from God. And they are all in God. But for you, creature, as a man, in order to be a child of God, let's make that spirit of love in you. Ndiyo uwe kabisa kabisa wewe ni mwana wa mungu. So, as God is immutable will to all goodness, so the divine will can unite or work with no creature will. Divine will can work. Yani, as God is an immutable will to all goodness, so the divine will can unite or work with no creature will, but that which will is with him only that which is good. Jiroko nashika hiyo ni mzuri sana. Eh? Sijui kama umesikia. God is immutable will. God is an immutable will to all goodness. Immutable will to all good. Yaani it is his unchangeable. He is not mutable. You know when you say mutable it is something which has an end. But God is immutable. God is a, is an immutable will to all goodness. So the divine will can unite or work with no creature will. So you have a creature uko na will yako. So if you have a will of your own God cannot unite with you. Kama wewe Mungu anasema hivi ndio naenda hivi, then kusema you have your will and God has his own what? Will. Kwa hivyo you are going parallel with God. Na hapo ujue when you have your own will and God has his own will, hapo ndio sasa maisha inaingia. Because nikubanisha you are going to the other side of God. So you are fighting God. And when you are fighting God, you are under the wrath. You become a child of wrath. So you know a child of wrath. You kusema wewe sasa maisare ndio utakuwa nazo nyingi. Kwa sababu sasa wewe umebadilika umekuwa will ya, ya Mungu ume, unaenda opposite. So anasema anasema so the divine will can unite or work with no creature will. But that which willeth with him only that which is good. That which willeth with him lakini sio kuwila ati mambo yote lakini wile with him only that which is good. Kwa hivyo you can will with God like, but you are not willing that which is good. Na Lorna mwangia hapo. Yeah. Kwa hivyo you can God can only unite with you when you are willing with him and you are willing with him that which is only good. What is that which is good? Niweza kuambia Mungu nataka unibariki, nataka yaani mwaka hii gine nipate gari, nataka mwaka hii gine nione nikienda na ndege. Is that which which is good? So you are willing with God but you must will with him that which is good. Manaka ukianza ku will mambo ya mwili, you are not willing that which is good. Anataka wewe uone kabisa unaangalia Yaani is eternity. You are after the divine will. Whether you are after that that uh, 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 love of God. Sasa hapo ndio Mungu anataka. Lakini si atukae sasa wewe uwe sasa you are willing these worldly things. Hapana, ikiwa ni hivyo sasa wewe tena umepotea. So all contrivances of holiness, all form of religious piety signify nothing without this will to all goodness yani masomo yote biashara zote maisha yote ambayo binadamu anafanya hapa duniani kanisa zote ambayo watu wanaenda kutoka hata wapi mpaka wapi they signify nothing if they don't will their will is, is not to all goodness of god Hawako pamoja na Mungu. Because God is all goodness. So which is all goodness? Which is this good yani goodness of God? 
the love of God. Sasa kama wewe kuna mambo mengine katika maisha hii wapo unaangalia as your goodness you are not with God. Wewe uko kivyako. So as the will to all goodness is the whole nature of God. So it must be the whole nature of every service or religion that can be accepted to him. Arudia As the whole as the will to all goodness is the whole nature of God. So it must be the whole nature of every service or religion that can be accepted to him. Kwa hivyo kusema hata kanisa yote anything service zote ambayo tutafanya kama the will the, the will to all goodness is the whole nature of God. Kwa hivyo any religion ambaye watu wanafanya hapa duniani if it is not after this goodness of god then it is not acceptable to him mungu hai accept nini ingine mnatafuta eh yeah. for nothing serves god or worship and adore him but that which wills and worketh with him kwa hivyo tukua binadamu Nothing serves God. You don't serve God or worship and adore him. But that which wills and work with him. You will and work with him. Kwa hivyo atakana kwamba wewe ni binadamu, atakana kwamba wewe ni kanisa, atakana kwamba wewe ni nani? Kama wewe you don't serve God. Yaani you don't work with him. And all goodness. Nikumaanisha you don't you are nothing you don't serve him. You don't serve God. For God can delight in nothing but his own will. Mungu hakuna kitu kingine anaweza penda ama anaweza kukubali. Na ambaye anafurahia isipokuwa nini? His own will. His own will. Sasawa. His own will and his own spirit because all goodness is included in it and can be nowhere else. Hayo zipatikana pale ingine yote his own will and his own spirit. Kwa hivyo kama kana kwamba binadamu anafanya kazi gani? Hata yeye anafanya au anafanya hii. Hata yeye anafanya hii. Ati ni kanisa ama ni nini? Kama mambo yote anafanya hayabatani na his own will. If you cannot put the doctrines the way they are supposed to be, it is all useless. Hakumwezi kuwa pamoja na Mungu. Mungu anataka everything ambaye inatenda kulingana na vile yeye mwenyewe amesema so everything that followeth an own will or own spirit forsake the one will to all goodness kama wewe unafuata your own will kama wewe unafuata mafikira yako we mwenyewe wewe una yani unakataana na that one will of goodness ambaye Mungu amesema iwe. Kwa hivyo as a person unatakiwa kujua what is this one will of goodness of God. Hiyo ndio unatakiwa kuwa unajiuliza wakati uko katika huu mwili. And when you are yani when you are following your own, yani you are, you, are, you are forsaken the one will of God, you have no capacity for the light and spirit of God. You have no capacity for the light and spirit of god let me tell you watu wengi wamekataa hata hii biblia unakuta watu wameshindwa hata kuisoma biblia watu hata wameshindwa hata kuisoma na hata kutafuta ukweli inakuwa ni ngumu sana kwa sababu kuna mtu anatafuta ukweli with a selfish motive unatafuta ukweli with a selfish motive not because of the love of god not because of the goodness of god not because you want to do the will of god ni kwa sababu wewe kuna mambo mengine yako uko naye na hiyo ndio inafanya watu wengi wanakaa in the ministry miaka mingi sana mpaka watu wanakuja kufa bila kuelewa ukweli the spirit of god cannot open up to anybody ambaye ako na selfish motive katika yani hawezi 
Ile kitu utajua tu ni mambo yako ya mwili ya kupeleka mambo yako vile unataka ya ku satisfy your, 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 your flesh. Lakini the depth of the word of God hiyo hautajua. Hautajua. Because you have no capacity for the light and spirit of God. The Holy Spirit of God will not work with you. Lakini ukiwa una study ama unatafuta ukweli for the sake of the goodness of God, you are going to go far. Mungu atakufungulia mambo mengi sana. Kwa sababu you are you are you are working towards that goodness of God. So you want to know God for the sake of his goodness. You are part of that goodness of God and you also want to spread that goodness. Kwa hivyo nikumaanisha God is going to open up to you. Na atakufungulia mambo mengi sana. Na utajua kwa sababu you are after that goodness of God. See your selfishness. So the necessity therefore of the spirit of love is what God himself cannot dispense with in the creature no more than he can deny himself or act contrary to his own yani to his own holy being the necessity god cannot deny himself nikusema yani wewe through the kama unatafuta ukweli for the goodness of god god cannot deny himself he is going to give you his goodness hata kunyima huo pendo atakupatia kwa sababu he is god he cannot deny himself he is a god of goodness and he is a god of love na kwa sababu wewe you are after that goodness he cannot deny him so he is going to give you that goodness because you want it it was his will to to all goodness that he brought forth angels angels were a creature they were created by god and it was because it, it was only because of his own goodness there is no angel ambaye ali, ali, ali apply awe no it is only the goodness of god ambaye ilifanya nini it is ever let there be angels na wakawa and that's the reason why there is the spirits of men for so he can will nothing in their ex- existence He can will nothing in their existence but that they should live and work and manifest that same spirit of love and goodness which brought them into being. Why did he bring them into being? Kwa nini Mungu aleta malaika? If he, if he was acting for yani yani from his goodness. Hawezi toa creature ambaye tena watakuja wa act contrary. Sio kama tunaelewana pale. Kwa hivyo he created the creature to spread the same good goodness of God whether angels or men So the purpose of God from the word go is to create a creature which is going to reveal his goodness and spread his goodness Now that's why hapa tunasema whenever you are acting on that line God cannot deny himself because that is his purpose He do the purpose So wale wote wana act contrary they go contrary to his will. Wewe unaenda contrary to his will. Lakini wakati wewe unaenda yani yani you do according to his will you are through it God is going to bless you. God is going to make you know more and more. So everything therefore but the will and life of goodness is an apostasy in the creature. Everything and is a rebellion against the whole nature of god kama kitu kingine yote ambayo inatoka kwa creature if it is not the will and life of goodness is an apostasy nikusema is a rebellion so man by nature in this world he's a rebel one can rebel against god and that's why the world is full of wrath that's why the world is full of wrath that's why watu wanasema hizi juu tutafanya nini watu watalia mpaka mtu analia 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 mpaka mwisho ana unakuta huyu alienda anaenda akifanya nini akilia anaenda akilia why because the whole of his life here in this world was a rebellion he was a rebel he was yeah he was against god in all ways in fact there is a fast which about in asema binadamu wanga napikana na nani na mungu it is isaiah 45:9 nasema If you read nasema woe unto him 
that striveth with his maker. Let the potsherd strive with the potsherd of the earth. Shall the clay say to him that fashioned it, What makest thou? Or thy work, or thy work, he has no hands? Naskia, woe is unto him that striveth with his maker. Kiswahili? Kiswahili so nasema, Ole wake ashindanae na muumba wake. Kigae kimoja katika vigae vya dunia. J. Udongo umuambie yeye aufinyangae unifanya uni, unafanya nini au kazi yako hana mikono Mhm. Sio kama unasikia. Yeye asidanae na nani? Na his maker. Because all oh, from the day one when someone is born in this world he is ever against God. If you read Isaiah 54:5 inasema thy make for thy maker is thine husband. The Lord of hosts is his name. And thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the God of the whole earth, shall be called. Thy maker is thine husband. Nikumanisha, kiswahili? Kiswahili nasema, kwa sababu muumba wako ni mume wako, wana wa majeshi ni rojina lake, na mtakatifu wa israeli ndiye mkombozi wako, yeye ataito mungu wa dunia yote. Yes. You see now, if you read still Hosea 8:14 asema, for Israel has forgotten his maker and builded the temples, and Judah has multiplied fenced cities, but I'll set a fire upon his cities, and he shall be shall devour the palaces thereof. For Israel has forgotten his maker. So in short, Nikwata Kusema, Binadamu, Uanga. From the time he is, he is born in this world, he is always fighting his maker. He is at war with his maker. Atashinda kweli? Yeye anakufa akiwa na mashida mengi sana hii duniani na mwishowe anaenda. You know people don't know why, 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 why people die. Every creature that every faculty that we have in ourselves, God created everything to work perfectly. If truly we were perfect, hata blood pressure, hata sukari, hata kila kitu nasema, watu wanasema, hatuwezi kuwa nae. Everything is supposed to be perfect. But the moment you rebel against God, even your body is imbalanced. The spirits of your body work against one another. Sasa inategemea ni gani itashida hapo haya ni katika the spirit of your body. Kuna ile ina shida unakuta huyu amepata amepata sukari. Unakaa mwingine hii ina shida huo huo unasikia huyo naye ni wa ni wa, ni wa high blood pressure. Unakaa mwingine unasikia huyo ni athlete hiyo. So all these things are the striving in ourselves. Because the reason is because we rebel against our me our maker. Sasao. So, there is no peace nor ever can be for the soul of man but in the purity and perfection of its first created nature. Narudia. There is no peace nor ever can be for the soul of man but in the purity and perfection of its first created nature hakuna peace unless the soul of man will be created again in that first nature and that's why Christ, our lord jesus christ came came people have never known that unless we go back to our created nature where we were created perfect in everything there is no hope no peace hata utukiwa na madaktari ati wanasoma unajua watu wanafikiria madaktari wakisoma sana ati sasa eh ndio 
watakuwa the remedy ni ukweli hakuna madaktari wanakufa sio wanakufa hata wamesoma hiyo yote hata naenda wapi hata yeye unakuta hata yeye ameenda so those are not the remedies those are the remedies in the darkness but the mystery of this world itaisha tu wakati we shall be created back into our first nature and that's why Christ Jesus came in and that's why you see the most learned of this world they are not even interested with the Christ if there is any learning in this world that a man can learn it is to, to study our Lord Jesus Christ to know but you will find that man because of being blind atafanya degree nyingi sana education anamaliza hii anafanya ingine. anamaliza hii anafanya ingine. paka anakufa akisoma lakini he never study Jesus Christ anafikiri by studying nature he'll save him so he can understand nature how is he atakufa hata yeye barake even by reading those things he's being weary because there is war he is not at peace anafikiri he is at peace lakini he is not at peace yeye mwenyewe kuna kitu ambaye inamsumbua na haelewi ndio yani kwa hivyo nikubadilisha ile kitu ya maana haioni anaona study nature and nature has no answer is only schism ni strife in his body baka ata yeye ataanguka ati nikusoma na soma kwa hivyo unless we are created again nor can it have its purity and perfection in any other way than in and by the spirit of love the spirit of love is just what is what man need and that is the spirit of god in man that is god dwelling in man god dwelling in man for for as love is a, is the god that created all things so love is the purity the perfection and blessing of all created things and nothing can live in god but as it lives in love kwa hivyo upendo ndio mwanzo na ndio nini ndio mwisho upendo wa Mungu hakuna kitu kingine na hii upendo huwezi patikana hapa duniani upendo it is it comes from heaven through the spirit of god in our lord jesus christ hakuna upendo ingine unaweza kuipata and this is si upendo inakuja na siku moja this is upendo ambayo inafanya dakika leo new create creation hapo ndio sasa tunaumbwa tena upya that's why man ajui salvation is creation new creation ndio apate hii upendo na ndio awe at peace this eh, eh, tamaza mwili zote sifanya nini ziishe sasa mtu anafikiria yeye tu nikusema naenda kanisa anasoma anaenda na kibia kibia haraka anakuja na kuwa na tamaa zina hata zinapanda kabisa hata akitoka kanisa haoni ni mbio sasa anafikiri yeye ako sawa hakuna kitu kama hiyo so as love is the god that created all things so love is a purity love is a purity so love alone is and only can be the cure of every evil i repeat this love of god alone can be the cure of every is and is only and can be the cure of every evil and he that lives in the spirit of love is li, is risen out of the power of evil into the freedom of the one spirit of heaven askia and he that lives in the spirit of love is risen out of the power of evil into the freedom of the one spirit of heaven kwa sababu hii mambo mengine yote tunafanya hapa duniani ni kuwa we are captive of this body and it is evil who mwili we are under captivity na tumeshikwa na sio kushikwa kidogo wengi wangetaka kufanya opposite ya, ya yale wanafanya lakini hawawezi hawawezi mwili uko na nguvu sana even even to the point that 
the soul yake imeinamia mwili and he is happy when he is doing that things of the body but not but not, not that of god unakuta mtu anafurahia wakati anafanya hiyo mambo ya mwili ndio yako na raha lakini mambo ya mungu hakuna hiyo hana raha watu wanaona kama mwili ni kidogo there must be a complete operation overhaul ndio rudi kwa mungu na ndio ufuate mungu sasa so, so the the schools have given us very accurate definitions of every vice whether it be covetousness pride wrath envy and shown us, and, and, and shown us how to confuse them as notionally distinguished from one another but the christian has much shorter way of knowing their nature and power and what they all they all are and do in and and to himself ukienda katika science ukienda katika english language utakuja kuona the scholars ama the teacher there in university are very good at defining covetousness pride wrath and envy they'll talk much about envy they'll talk much about pride they'll talk much about covetousness but all these things to our wonders wanga in increase the same vice in ourselves wakati naongea juu ya pride even the one who is teaching their pride he is because he's full of pride yule ambaye anatoka pale anafundishwa about the word pride na anasikia pride is is and he is happy defining pride but he'll never know that is a fruit of the devil it is evil so unakuja the whole world wanga hata ina celebrate those evil fruits of the devil in fashions that's why watu wanataka kuvaa nguo zingine zinakaa juu na mna gani ni pride katika eh, biashara unaona huyu ameenda hivi na wewe unataka ku, ku, yani kukua hivi ni kavit ni tamaa katika ku yani katika hata kusikia yani kufanyana mabaya ni envy because you don't want this person kush, ash, ashinda wewe all these things they are full they are everywhere in this world lakini watu wanafikiria they are all good things in fact they make even them fashionable hata wakati mtu amekuwa a thief wana wanaibadilisha wana 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 wanaita wana another name ambaye haionekani ni baya sana so all call them by what names you will or is distinguish them with ever so much exactness they are all separated jointly just that same one thing and all do that same one work as the scribes the pharisees hypocrite and and rab of the jews who crucified christ were all but one and the same things and all did one and the same work however different they were in outward names imambo yote imambo yote tunaona ni ile tu ilikuwa na wafarisai hypocrite watu wote na yote ilifanya inafanya kazi moja that is the work of the devil if you would therefore have the true sense of the nature and power pride rad and covetousness envy they are in their whole nature nothing else but the murderers and crucifiers of the true Christ of God unajua wakati watu wanasema Christ was crucified by the Pharisees it is true and scribes and the rulers who are there at that time it is true but they forget that these people why they did it they did it because of four things pride this man his demeaning us in our congregation you come to the one christ alikuwa anafundisha against them and because of pride hawange kubali aendelee kufundisha manake alikuwa anafundisha mambo ambayo wanaonekana ikana kwamba wao hakuna kitu wanafanya nini wanajua then the, the next one 
is covetousness. How watu they were afterwardly riches and money. Walisema tukikubali huyu mtu afundisha hawa watu watu wote watafanya nini? Watamfuata. Na sisi tutabaki hivyo. Unafikiri walikuwa analia watabaki bila watu? It's because chondo itafanya nini? Eh. Hey. Ya tatu ni wivu. Jirasi, yani envy ya mashindano. Huyu ni nani? Ambaye wewe alisomea shule gani? Ambaye haijulikani hapa. Na sisi tumeenda katika theology school. Na yeye hakuna. Sinakumbuka kuna wakati walimuuliza. Wali wewe wewe au kusoma katika au katika ile mashule tunajua hii mambo unaongea ume, umejulia wapi ya ine rath this man must go for fruits of the death of the devil crucified christ those four they crucified christ so people don't understand that in ourselves Christ is not here today but the spirit of Christ is talking the same thing in us and because of our pride covetousness envy and anger we are crucifying Christ in ourselves in ourselves the same thing the only difference ni kuwa wale walifanya openly tunaona mwangi wale walifanya openly lakini sisi tunaifanya in the spirit in the spirit because you have pride you have covetousness ya, ya, ya hii dunia uko na envy and then uko na anger ndani yako because ukijaribu kusukuma watu wa wakati huu waanze kusukumia hii ukweli hata watakukutana watatukana wewe they would love you they will hate you na ukicheza unaweza unaweza fanywa mabaya so the same thing which happened in that time it is happening today because those people did it not because of anything else it is because of these four things as i've told you and these four things they are we are full of it because that is the nature of wrath that is the nature of a wicked person so christ in him ambaye hiyo mbegu ikijaribu kuonekana kidogo inakuwa crushed by pride the word of god ikijaribu kuiruka kidogo inakuwa crushed paka mwili wa farisai mpaka wakawa Christ akaenda na waka, na akakufa wao wakabaki wakiwa sasa wamefanya nini wameshinda yule ambaye alikuja kutaka ku, ku, kuwa juu yetu amefanya nini crucify him sidi walisema na ni kweli akawa, akawa nini crucified the question is si they were happy in a way hata wakienda nyumbani walikuwa leenda wakifanya hivi tumemaliza nini? Eh, kazi ime, yani tumemaliza. Lakini unaona after that wars ikaanza. From that moment there was no peace anymore in that temple of Israel. Mpaka in the 16 yani 66 AD wakaja Jews wakawa wengi sana in that temple. The wrath Christ ndio alikuwa aweka ameweka hiyo kanisa wamemkataa mpaka wakafanya nini wakakurufa yeye nao ile peace walikuwa naye as a church from the time of moses mpaka wakati walifika pale sasa ikawa imefanya nini imeondoka ikawa a complete wrath ndio ilibaki pale inasemekana hawa watu walifika pahali mpaka wakakula watoto wao kwa sababu ya jaa by the time the temple inakuja kuwa burnt down walikufa juice walikufa wengi sana na wakikufa hapo yote walikuwa nasema they are defending the temple lakini little did they know that the god of the temple alikuwa amefanya nini ameondoka walikuwa wamepaki peke yao that's why they were fighting a losing battle god was not with them and that's why they were defeated so the same case happened to individual person wewe wakati unakataana na Mungu when you are crucifying Christ again in yourself 
You think you are doing yourself a favor. But ujue utafanya hivyo ufanye hivyo. Even to the point that Christ will be suppressed in you. Alafu sasa wewe hata wakati unaenda kufanya dhambi unasikia uko nini? Uko sawa. Hakuna kitu ambayo inakuzukuma sasa. Umeshinda? Umeshinda. Barake, you have suppressed your concerns. Concerns yako sasa hata haikustuli. Unakuta wewe sasa unafanya things openly and you feel you are okay. But little don't ujui unagojea wrath ambaye sasa itakuwa kali sana kwa sababu you shall not have a defender. Christ atakuwa amefanya nini? Amekuondokea? Amekuondokea. Sasa unabaki peke yako. Utakipata kwa sababu the word of God inasema wale walikipata na sio kusema ati wewe uko eh, better than those, those people. So high priest did many hundred years ago, sorry not as the high priest did many year hundred years ago nailing his outward humanity to outward cross but crucifying afresh the son of god the holy emmanuel who is the christ that every man crucify as often as he give way to wrath pride envy or covetousness any time you give praise to wrath pride envy and covetousness you are crucifying our lord jesus christ kwa hivyo usione kana kwamba ni tofauti. Sasawa. Eh uh, life in the soul is the strictest truth of the word as a murderer and killer of the lord of our life. And whoever pride and envy and hatred are suffer to live there the same thing is done as when Christ was killed and Barabbas was saved alive. Kwa hivyo wakati wewe umekatana na mambo ya Mungu ni kama vile wale waliambiwa mnataka baraba ama mnataka nani? Christ wakasema they want baraba. Kwa hivyo sasa wakati umesikiza mwili ni kana kwamba you have chosen who? Barabbas. Kusema you have chosen Barabbas lakini Christ afanye nini? Asurubiwe. But let us pray to God that hatuwezi kubali hivyo. Hatuwezi kubali hivyo kwa sababu sisi ni watu wa Mungu na Mungu ametufundisha na kwa sababu ya masaa ninastaki hiyo hiyo topic hiyo mrefu sana next time tutakuja kuona this love of god tuone bado tuone how by our body by our life we crucify christ daily how we suppress him knowing or not knowing tutakuja kuona amen